Good day everyone. Welcome to another episode of Agri Guru Lessons. So for today's episode, I'm going to explain the different activities under Module 1, Topic 2. For the first activity, for the M1 and M1 T2 Learning Task 1 or the pre test So for the first activity, which is the pre-test, so all you have to do is to answer 5 different questions and you need to select the best answer. For PPT number 2, learning task number 3, all you have to do is to complete the purchase requisition form. So ano po yung gagawin natin dyan? So this is the requisition form that you're going to complete. And based on this activity, all you have to do is to drag these items on the yellow cell. Okay? So, ito drag yun lang po yung bawat items sa yellow cell na highlighted ng yellow cell dito para makomplete ito mismo label ng requisition form. So, meron tayong 1, 2, For the next activity, so mechanics, so about learning task number 4, so all you have to do is to make your own requisition form. So for the direction, think of a simple woodwork project that you can do in carpentry. Make a purchase requisition form and list down the needed tools and materials in making the project. Follow the steps in filling out the form. Take a photo of the accomplished purchase requisition form and submit the photo. Note, we also use the Microsoft Word or the Excel in submitting your output. So for this one, all you, all you have to do is to think of a simple project about carpentry and what will you do, iisip ka ng mga materialis na kakailangan mo para sa paggawa ng project na Take the time, it's all about carpet cleaning. Okay, for the sample output, ang project na gusto niya ay medicine cabinet. So, so these are the materials needed in making the hanging cabinet or the medicine cabinet rather. So, yun po yung gagawin niyo and sa kanya po isasagin. Using the file, the word, or Excel. Depende sa inyo gagawin. Next activity. Okay, for the criteria on how we're going to rate or evaluate your own work, of course, the first one is the accuracy, format, and speed. So we have excellent, 4 points, good, 3 points, fair, 2 points, it's improvement one point. So for the accuracy, all parts of the requisition form were filled out correctly. Parts of the requisition form are complete and accomplish the form before the date of submission. So for good number three, what part of the requisition form was not filled out correctly? So make sure that all parts of the requisition form are complete for you to get excellent or 4 points. Then one part of the requisition form is missing. Accomplish the form exactly on the date of submission. Then fair, two parts of the requisition form were not filled out correctly. Two parts of the requisition form are missing and accomplish the form a day after the date of submission. So this improvement. So more than two parts of the requisition form were not filled out correctly. More than two parts of the requisition form are missing. And the last one, accomplish the form two days after the date of submission. So much better do the activity on time or in advance para at least makakuha kayo ng perfect score. The next one, 
uh, learning task number 5 which is quiz po ninyo again 5 items only all you have to do is to select the best answer so this is a multiple choice questions and then this activity is all about uh, the reflection so all you have to do is to answer these three questions in a forum so make sure if you're going to answer this one much better na answer it correctly yung nasa puso ninyo yung pagsasagot whatever you, you have learned from the lesson so input ni po dyan and sana maging maayos yung format ng pagsasagot and next one and then for this activity ito ay para sa lesson number 3 okay po so all you have to do is to make a short video 3 to 5 minutes long showing the procedure in receiving and inspecting tools and materials use tools and materials available in your house for the demonstration and for the rubric on how we're going to evaluate your submitted video so ito po Meron tayong sequence, creativity, audio, video, quality, and time. So, make sure ang time lang po natin ay within 3 to 5 minutes. So, no lower than 3 minutes and no higher than 5 minutes. So, just read the criteria. So, for you to be able to understand what you're going to do in making your own short video and take note in submitting your own short video make sure to upload that in your google drive and submit only the link of the drive para at least yun na lang yung i-check ko or bubuksan ko at hindi na kayo mahihirap ang mag-upload pa ng video sa video that would be all thank you and God bless.